show you texture visualization and overrides, I'm going to boot us into our trusty sample app, Fog Polygon Volumes, with ships with Perfect. Now to select a texture to override or visualize, I'm going to jump into the frame debugger. And of course, this is the mode in which we can select a draw call and see visually what that draw call means. So in this case, we can see the geometry, and we can also see the texture. And you can, you can make the texture bigger by hitting plus. Uh, you can hover over the texture to see the value. But sometimes even that isn't enough. Sometimes, you know, especially for a high res texture, you're going to really want to uh, see the thing at full res and be able to examine it. So you can right click and hit visualize. Now the full screen texture viewer has what you might expect. You can uh, pan um, by uh, left clicking and dragging. You can zoom in and out using the mouse wheel. And uh, you know, so you can view the texture at whatever res you need to to get to get the job done. Now the other thing you can do is override the texture from the same context menu. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different options here. So let's try one like say the 2x2 two two texture. Now, the 2x2 two two texture is, is a really useful way to see if you have texture bandwidth problems because if you're replacing the texture that you had before with the smallest possible texture. So you can see we've jumped back into the performance dashboard and into our live app and you can see the edit is still there and we can see if if our performance increased or uh, decreased or what our utilization is. So another really uh, useful texture is the color mipmap texture. This is a really nice way of being able to visually see uh, if your texture is well mipped or not and if it's if it's uh, being used properly. So you can see you can, the, uh, the, the colors actually change um, as you zoom in and out because we've replaced uh, each level of MIP with a different color. So there's a bunch of other textures like the black and the white and the grays and these are primarily useful as debug textures. So if you have a shader that's acting up or using Perfud 6's edit and continue feature to maybe author a shader or tweak it, you can, uh, you know, and it uses textures, you can override that texture to send it sort of a known value and that way it may make your, your debugging or your tweaking a little bit easier. Um, so that's all for texture overrides and visualizations. Thanks a lot.